Social media is the god of this generation. Let me ask you a question. Are you worshiping it? Here are a few things you need to pay attention to to make sure that social media has not won your heart rather than your love for God. The first one is that you constantly pick up your phone every few minutes, all day, every day. This right here shows that your brain has subconsciously given itself unto the phone rather than unto the Lord. Number two, you spend time using your phone to entertain you rather than to enhance you. Instead of your phone being a tool to draw you closer to the Father, instead it's being used to draw you further and further away from Him. Number three, when you spend time with God, you are constantly craving to know what is going on in the world of social media. He doesn't have your undivided attention, and even when you're spending time with Him, mentally and emotionally, you're connected to your phone. So now social media has a hold on you without even touching you. It constantly draws you back to itself without even calling your name. It has trained you, you've become a slave to it. Now I'm sharing this because I don't want you to be discouraged. The first step is to recognize that there's a problem. So once you recognize there's a problem, repent and then start to limit your time on your phone and try to replace that time that you are using for your phone to be intimate and spend time with God. Now I get it. It's hard to give yourself 100% to the Lord when everything else around you is seeking to grab your attention. But you are capable of doing anything that you set your mind to. So here's a word of wisdom. Don't give your destiny away to destiny thieves. Be deliberate about your physical and spiritual development. Once you do that, just leave the rest up to God. Trust me, you'll never regret it. See, here's the truth about social media that they're just not teaching you is that it's fake. Yeah, it's a facade. It is a fraud. It's, it's not reality. In other words, most people wouldn't dare post their most authentic self. They wouldn't dare post what they're actually going through and what they're actually dealing with in their mind, and their hearts, their emotion. They wouldn't dare post it. Rather, they would remove the blemishes of their skin and their life to present themselves as something perfect. They only show their best selves. So before you go and you become discontent, because social media is a breeding ground for discontentment, comparison, and envy. So before you go and you become envious of somebody else's life, first realize they're also human. In Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse four, it literally says that people strive after success and chase success because they envy what their neighbor has. And it's heavy. It's meaningless. It's like you running and chasing after vapor and smoke only for it to slip through your fingertips and leave you dry and empty. My encouragement for you today is that you would step away. I have to learn this step away away. Realign yourself with where you're supposed to be and be content in that. So before you idolize that couple, that millionaire, realize you don't know what it took for them to get there and you don't know what they're going through. I hope this helps. Go do the work.